Hey folks, Cool18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Victoria 2, A House Divided as Japan. And uh, things are going pretty good, although I think this episode might be a little dull. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I We're not really revving up to another war. I mean, if we happen to get a Casus Belly somewhere... Um, Siam, really? Alright, sounds good. Alliance offer accepted. Sure, why not? And you're speared by Britain and... Uh, maybe it was dumb. Anyway, um, yeah, so unless we get like another totally random Casas Belly, and I don't think that we've got one on the go, unless I've forgotten one, um, we're probably mostly just going to be building up our military and stuff. Um, I think we can definitely do... Um, A um, one of these. I don't know if it makes a difference which one I pick up. Frankly, I'm gonna go for pre free press just because I like support that sort of thing. Um, I thought like I was gonna say something. Now, a few people have said that for coal, what I might want to do is set the max stockpile up a little higher, and I was confused because I thought. This only came up if you weren't on automated. But I might be wrong. Um, so let's give that a try and see what happens if we set a stockpile there. I mean, it's already, again, in the last episode, it's going to take a couple of ticks to go in, but there was the symbol that the AI was trying to actually stockpile coal um, on its own. And I don't, I don't think it's going to be. Coal prices are apparently dropping, which is kind of surprising. Now, if I turn off the automation, then I can put in my buy request here. And it'll go ahead and do that. But I don't think that's the way it works. Is it buying up stockpile? I don't know. Anyway, I might be wrong. Uh, one thing I wanted to do before I forgot is that um, I want to go and check my foreign investments because I strongly suspect that I might be able to do some upgrades of some relevant stations. Really? You're closed? I can't reopen you. Why would you be closed? Why would you not make lots of money? Maybe you didn't have the right resources actually in there. Well, that's upgrading. That's good. You don't have enough employees for me to do the others. Um, yeah, see the guns are going down too. Can I like... No, I can't change priority in these things. Interesting. Upgrade that. We may as well upgrade that. It might close, but I don't know. Maybe the market's going to stabilize soon enough. We'll see. Um, lots of workers here. It's building this. It's getting that. It's got that. It's upgrading some of them, so might be fine. Italy. Italy's got lots of workers available. Telephone. Canned goods. Just it's just not getting anything. Uh, fuel refinery. Let's expand that. And this, and that, yeah, I think they're just, they weren't getting the goods. Flanders! Freaking Netherlands. You know, we get along fine in some ways, and in other ways, not as much. Okay, more techs. That's good. I've got sound, yes, alright. Um... Yeah, I see the coal and the steel, and it's the coal thing that's the big problem. Uh, over in Belgium, where I recently got all the coal plants, are you guys at maximum railroadness? I think you are, yeah. Let's check the uh, infrastructure map mode. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Hmm. Uh, these guys could actually use some upgrades. I wish I could do the whole country at once. You can hold control to do an entire region. Um, is this part of Egypt? It is. Shabam. What are you? I have lots of money. I want Egypt to be in good shape. See, I'm a totally good colonial master. You are doing that, which is great. Um, that's actually Spanish. Alright, 
I think other than that, we're good. Uh, oh, Mongolia's in my sphere. Okay, so that's right. So do that. And that. And this little thing. And that over there. All right. Um, no research set. All right, so we finished everything army-related, which is good. I'm not as worried about the navy because it's it's not coming up as that big of a deal. And I've got a large enough navy. I'm building the battleships now. It's okay. So we actually got the wrong doctrine. Um, but I will take advantage of the commerce boost, I think, to finish some of this stuff. And yeah, maybe not. Hyperinflation. Yeah, we don't actually want that. This next one's pretty good. Although, I mean, do we really need these things either? No. What do we need? We could finish the industry stuff. There's no penalty to industry, so that's okay. Um, steel production, good. This stuff, maybe good. Yeah, whatever, we'll get that. Um, you know, different types of factories, give them a different economy or something or other. Uh, some people are concerned by the fact that a good number of my middle class are getting none of their needs, but I very strongly suspect, yeah, see if I pause and I go over artisans, is the artisans that are alternating between like 80 and 90% not getting their needs. And it's almost certainly that they just can't get the goods that they're looking for, and that's all. Um, let's take a look at the trade very briefly. So your top imports are coal. See, and that is resets. I don't. I don't think it's a thing. I think I could set it to manual. I do that and do that. I don't know. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I guess we'll, we'll keep it high. I mean, I could just put another buy order. The price of coal is not very high right now. In fact, what the hell? I don't mind if the price of coal skyrockets, right? Let's see, now we have a bunch available for our country right now. Where's coal in this list? All right, these things are... There's coal. We have none stockpiled. Um, sure. First time I've really had to be concerned about coal here, and I'm just it's trying to buy up the stockpile. I, I suppose let me turn this off for a sec and see what happens to my stockpile now. There we go. So we are properly stockpiling it. And if I do that, then the factories can start buying out of it again. Hopefully we're not causing the price of coal to skyrocket too much here. I'm going to stockpile the tea. Lost the general. Let's enact another reform. Yeah, maybe that... I'm actually quite happy with this. If we just say, like... Listen, we always want to try to maintain a certain amount in the stockpile, but people are able to buy out of it if they need, and like maybe I should do that for some of the other goods as well, right? Maybe that does, maybe the AI does pay attention to that, I'm not sure. What we should actually do as an experiment then, is we will, uh, we will keep a stockpile of oil around. Strategic stockpile, right? Communist rebels organization gain plus 75%. Communists! Um, sulfur is probably a little important. We'll keep 
a little bit of iron around. I don't think that's the way it works, but we'll try. Okay. And we're going to stay on manual when it comes to the coal, because why the hell not? Um, temperance. Influenced by intensive lobbying from the Temperance League. That means no booze. One of our states has adopted a licensing regulation that allows residents the right to issue or retract liquor licenses in their local districts. With strong public support, the Licensing Act has thus prohibited the sale of liquor throughout the states. The state. Many local breweries have been denied the right to sell their product locally and been forced into bankruptcy. We can either allow them, which makes the poor angry, the middle class satisfied, and the rich angry, or we can go the other way around. Um, I mean, from the stats, either way doesn't really bug me too much, but I don't like the idea of prohibition. Or do I? I don't know. Maybe prohibition is fine <laughs> for our cause. Now, see, our stockpiles run out again for the coal, but I think it's just because people are buying it out. An alliance from the Ottomans. Okay, more alliances is fine and good. Oh, diplomacy. Yes, North Germans. We want to increase relations. Excellent. And the Ottomans are happy. The Netherlands are happy, even though we fight over everything. France, sure, I'll improve things there as well. And the UK, I mean, we could try, but it's probably not going to happen, so never mind. All right, so let us go back to political mode here. Um, yeah, I think there's mostly going to be this sort of thing because we still have a lot of military to build, right? Planes and tanks and dreadnoughts. We just have to keep moving towards modernization, so I really need to speed things up. Yeah, we don't have any militancy problems at all, at all, at all. I suppose some um, communist factions wouldn't be bad because enacting this stuff wouldn't be the end of the world. I mean, I know there's costs. Synthetic polymers, finished, good. Electrical lights, good. Electric furnace, let's do that. Start developing stainless steel. Lost another great general. Oh well. So we're starting to get a bit of a navy over here. Uh, is this still where my transports were as well? No, these are all dreadnoughts. Yeah, like that, and that is a really strong navy. Um, yeah, all these great generals that were all picked up. Flanders at the same time, basically. Um, Flanders here, although... Yeah, it just keeps bumping us up to Cordial. We're going to have, like, a permanent fight against... Oh, and they're about to freaking get sphered. Nope, or they're just going to do that instead. We've discovered Bakelite, which is one of the first forms of plastic, basically-ish. I think it counts as plastic. I'm not 100% sure. But a bonus to glass production. Maybe it's glass. I, I mean, rah, rah, rah. Uh, anti aircraft artillery. Excellent. Good. Groovy. We have. Oh, excellent. You guys are going to join up over here. We'll just combine you. Free up a general. Mm hmm. They're kind of awkward. Uh, where is my third fleet? Oh, there they are. May as well, since we've got nothing else to do, let's go and do everything. Did someone point out last time there might have been a clipper in here? Pause. Come here. I don't see it. No, I don't think so. Get on the boat, and then boats drop things off over here. <laughs> uh, more and more communist support. We've gone from like basically nothing to 1.58%. More liberal, less everything else. Yeah, so there's, I mean, there's a big shift that way. Diplomacy, real quick. The USA, we're good? Yeah, totally good. Increase relations. Okay, Netherlands, we keep going down because of that stupid fight. On secret ballots. More immigrant attraction. Rayon has been discovered. Uh, speaking of immigration, no, that's fear of influence. Migrations. How are we doing? Mostly losing people? Yeah. Mostly losing people to the United States. Which sucks. 
more random discoveries. We have so much money. Oh, this is one place where... Well, that's not my place. So, yeah, all right. No one wants to live here. Probably because the reforms and the lack thereof. Which is too bad, because otherwise... Well, I mean, I guess the... Uh, the uh, artisans are pissy. But other than that, everyone's got a pretty good life, right? So culture's actually got a penalty here. I might... Get rid of stuff. Prestige, we can't really go any high in prestige, right? Because if I go here, I'm the number two great power? Holy crap, and military is like double the strength of the USA. Um, and in terms of prestige, it's France, and they have. Oh no, we totally could surpass them really easily. I mean, not that this gives me prestige immediately, and this is something I should have gotten, like, a long time ago. But I kind of want... And then there's all the, you know, naval stuff. But I, I'm not feeling that the navy is actually going to be a big deal for us. I probably shouldn't have taken this, um, this sea power thing. I kind of want to reach number two in, uh, in prestige. Because that will dramatically improve our ability to screw with people um, in terms of trade and stuff. Fascist newspaper? Really? Japanese dawn carries fiery denunciations of everything between heaven and earth, including, but certainly not limited to, communists, socialists, liberals, conservatives, foreigners, minorities, women, homosexuals, capitalists, deviants, and criminals. While the paper, paper carries a fair amount of vitriol, it does still manage to capitalize fairly well on several of the attitudes that are prevalent among fairly broad strata of our society, whatever that says about Japanese society. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Uh, I believe we will see it primarily read by the lower class. So the poor become fascist. Or the middle class make them more fascist. And this is all limited to just shumshu. Uh, I think the poor probably will end up being swayed by this more. I don't know. I probably should have looked at whichever one was the smaller demographic and then picked that so it would have less of an effect. But Stainless steel. All right. You guys get over there. We are number one in the military in the world. Dudes. 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 Oh, wow. Listen, Russia, what's your alliance looking like? Because I want my spheres back. The UK, oh, Fran uh, the Netherlands. Netherlands we're pretty tight with, though. They might not join up in Portugal. A lot of them I'm not, I'm not concerned about. Obviously, it's the UK that's the bigger thing. Netherlands, see, we're at 200. We're fine with them. Um, wow. I want my cores. Ecuador. Add the sphere. Boing. Oops. All right, are we going to keep working on Flanders? No, it's, it's a lost cause. It'll never happen. Um, do the same thing. Look down the industrial list and find juicy, juicy targets. Like Persia. Mm, friendly with two people. Romania? Mm, friendly. There's going to be a lot of friendlies. Transvaal? Excellent. You are going to be a target? New. No. I guess I can just sneak peek here. Bolivia is another good pick. All right, so we'll split our efforts into two there. Uh, increase relations so that we can get positive. Thank you very much. And here as well. Oh, we don't have quite enough diplomacy. If I unpause for a tick, I think we should be able to get there. I don't know. Um, Switzerland. I can add you to sphere two. Bam! Our influence is growing like crazy. 
The sweeping reforms to our party system that have been enacted during the past few years have turned our country from an absolute monarchy to a constitutional monarchy. The monarch now serving as symbolic head of state no longer has the power to personally control and determine the fate of the nation, but is instead forced to accept the mitigating influences of pluralism and limited democracy. It's Her Majesty's or His Majesty's government. Okay, that is a big deal because it means that I... Can still change the ruling party? I don't know what the difference is then. Hmm. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I'm okay with this. What is this? Alliance offer from Ecuador. Of course. And Switzerland. Switzerland doesn't actually like me, now that I think about it. Um, right? Because we're, like, super low. We're gonna wait for our, our people to come around and things and whatever and get our diplomacy points back, so I guess... Okay! Japanese communists are everywhere. Um... Oh, and there's some big freaking groups, and... Alright, you guys, you are on one good. Uh, I hope they don't have armor? Uh, where's my... Yes, you guys. Combine, get on a boat, and land here. But Alright, fine, land here, it'll be shorter. Oh, and slow the hell down the speed. Good stuff. Let's um, split this in two and do that and that. Good. Are you? Hello. We're up hunting on. Thank you. Get over there. Alright, looks like we're going to be able to just flatten this without question. It's a little worrying, but it's not the end of the world. Yeah, we have a lot of dreadnoughts. Our military strength is growing so fast. Impressionism, yeah, good. Now we just need to find a way to like multiply that prestige up. Let's do that as well. I mean, we've got these little things, but they've all discovered these things already, so the shared prestige we're going to get from these are minuscule. Still, it might be enough. Um, Switzerland. Yeah, alright. So even though you, like, you don't like me, you'll still ally with me because we're sphered. That is lovely. Um, Alright, so that has been squooshed. Excellent. Good. And we will take... What are you guys? Oh, these are airplanes. Odd. Alright. So we will unite you together. We're going to bring over the, the transport fleet. Um... I'll leave one stack of these guys over here. But these guys can go here, can get on the boat. The boats can come over here, pick up all these airplanes. And I think we're going to end this video here because I need to um, to consider and think here. I'm pretty sure we're gearing up to war. I mean, our, our military is ridic. Ridic. Yeah. Combine. Get on the boat. And we're going to land you back over here. So industrially, only number four in the world. But we're not doing too bad. Oh, that reminds me, I can probably upgrade all the things. Boom. Let's upgrade you just in case. We have a lot... Oh, this is Italy. I say we have a lot of craftsmen available. Kind of, you're having a hard time getting all the goods you need. You probably weren't getting enough coal, but it looks like otherwise. See, now we're getting, now we're getting coal again. Um, yeah, may as well do this. 
I think that we are spending, whoa, 28,000. I suppose we can cut back on this for the military costs. Woo, didn't realize we were maxed out there. Um, although some of that is buying our various coals and things. Um, you, you, not that Brunei has the employee, the employees available, but we're still going to do it. Fuel refinery, definitely. Synthetic oil, I don't know. I think we may just keep one around, or two, or however many we've got that aren't closed. I'm going to uh, reclose this one, though. And what, if anything, will we want to have open here? I'm not sure. We're going to have to check our numbers. Actually, we're going to check over here and take a look at these things that we're trying to build. Why is it not showing me what it needs? Where do I have everything? Wasn't it when I was mousing over these things, was it not telling me what I was short of? Take my hand off the mouse? No. I was sure it's telling me that. Hmm. More tanks. More tanks. Oh! Ah, when I mouse over the dates. It's all barrels all the way. Now, why don't we have barrels? It could be because we don't have enough barrel factories, or it might just be that the barrel factories aren't being supplied. You are automatically trying to build an artillery factory. Well, that sounds pretty good. Um, barrels over here, I think, seems to be getting its stuff. It just needs more things. We're going to make sure you get top crack at the... Uh, the actual employees there. Mm, yeah, I don't know about the small arms, but what the hell. Some of these, like the synthetic oil, is just a just in case. And we probably do need some synth synthetic oil, even though it does eat into our coal supply. Uh, I'm going to leave this for now. It's a money maker, though. I don't know. What the hell? We can always do something. Trade. Let's take a look at how things look. We got a hundred in the tank. That's good. Um, airplane bits. I uh, know. Price is actually going down, which is interesting. Price of barrels is going up. Yeah, good. Big stockpile. Artillery is dirt cheap right now, so it's funny that we're still trying to buy some. Um, and we'll stockpile a few more of those. Like all the military goods. Because who knows what happens. If a big world war breaks out, we're going to want this stuff stockpiled, actually. Like, yeah. Eh, a little more airplanes. Um, what else? Well, we might want to keep a few phones around, right? Car bits around. This is indeed how they work. We'll need a few radios too, because these are all components to some of the military things. Industrial goods. Steel is cheap. Let's stockpile a lot. Machine parts are cheap. Lots of fuel, yeah. That's what I like to see. This is kind of pricey, but we'll keep a little around as well, if we can. Um, clipper bits we don't need. Good. This stuff we do. All right. Let us keep a little bit more of that as well. And oil. Oh, yes. We need, definitely need to keep a good supply of oil around. We're thinking ahead. Thinking ahead to the inevitable war. Um, and I will bring this episode to close. If you have any experience with Victoria 2 and have anything to say about trade, please do. Because obviously we don't really have a lot of experience in this particular situation. Other than that, stuff is going to keep getting built. Loan interest is going down. Not that we have a loan. No. But we could afford to take out a huge loan if we wanted to. We have lots saved up. More 
random rebels. What? How are you there? This should be showing me occupations. Combats, hostile occupations. I don't see any hostile occupations listed. Oh, wait, this is no longer mine. So I guess the others all got cleaned up, hopefully. We're still not at our military cap. At some point, we will want to disband our, um, our old armies, but we're not quite there yet. We don't have to free up any manpower. Our military rating is going up like mad, though. Like, holy crap, we're a thousand ahead of the UK. Our navy is, is killer. Killer, killer, killer. Now, we don't necessarily have the quality of the navy, but we have the numbers, which is why I wasn't hunting it. Anyway, that is it. I will see you guys next time.